Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're back in Tensor Art and we're about to get comfy. <laughs> That's right, they've got a custom comfy UI workflow feature that they've integrated into their website and it is fantastic. Now, if you're like me and you like to look under the hood and see how things are made, when it comes to your AI images and your AI art, you like to tinker, you know, play with some of the dials, well, this is the place to be. Their Comfy UI allows you, their, well, their integration allows you to do all of those things. You can dig into their models, their modules, the inputs, the processes. You can connect everything inside the Comfy UI GUI or graphical user interface. It's all here and it is awesome. Now, there are over 200 custom nodes in this. So this isn't like a, a drag and drop click and play. Like there are customizations upon customizations that you can create so if you're thinking about creating your own you know amazing model or your own amazing workflow that you want to share with the other people or create for yourself whatever it doesn't matter you could probably do it here and best of all you don't have to download all those crazy things that you did if you had to do it locally. So there's no plugins, there's no crazy installations. You don't have to load up your terminal. You don't have to check and see if you have a 4090 GPU, none of that stuff. It's all here in Tensor Art. Let's go. All right, so here's an example here. This is a text to image, simple uh, one that was set up, actually pre-built. I didn't build this, can't take credit for it, but just take a look here. You'll see here, if I just, you know, zoom in, you load the checkpoint here at the beginning, you'll see how all of them are connected. So if I want to make changes, like for example, I want to move this around so I can see it a little better. If I click on the clip text and code and I go right click on it and I go, hey, I want to remove this. I can go ahead and remove this. I can add to it. I can change all of these things as I see fit. And on the right side here, you can see here that I've even done a couple of runs on it. Here's one I just did the uh, just a few minutes ago. And I got this cool lightning in a bottle type effect, kind of abstracty uh, painting. So this is just one example of many. Let me show you how you can go ahead and create your own and have a little fun. All right, so for those of you that are following along with me, you'll see here I'm on tensor.art. Link will be in the description below. And you get a few options. When you click on home here, you can do creations, comfy flow, host your own model. So if you've already got a model or you want to pull something in from Civit AI, for example, you can go ahead and do that. And if you want to learn how to do this, but you're not sure how to do it yet, but you know you want to, you can go ahead and take their online training it's quite good. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and click on comfy flow. So I'm going to click on it here and then we get two options, new workflow or import workflow. If you don't see this, you can always just go up to the top here under create and click on comfy flow. Now under my workflow, you'll see here that I've had a little bit of time noodling around here. So I've been, you know, creating things here and there, but here's one it's called control net. Let's click on this and take a quick look. And presto, now you'll see here that I've got this very cool and rather, well, look at this, it's all node based and <laughs> modular, but there we go. We've got this control net here. This is a full workflow front to back that goes from load checkpoint right out to save image. All right, so we're back on the main page here and now it's time to cook. Let's create our own workflow. Again, there's two ways to access it. You can click on comfy flow here, or you can just go up here to the top under create click comfy flow again we can do our own import so if you have a pre-built workflow that you want to bring in bring it from civet ai or wherever go ahead and do so if you want to create your new workflow go ahead and click on this plus button here this is what i'm going to go with now when i hit plus you'll see here that there are some pre-built templates and they're quite good in fact this one here has 22 nodes in it so if you are looking to maybe you know refine on this or add or subtract to it you can start with one of these pre-built ones but i'm going to go ahead and start with an empty workflow and i'm just going to hit the plus button now when i do that you're going to see here we've got this nice dark gray and grittish type thing it kind of looks like you're in adobe illustrator but here's the thing, this is an empty workflow. Now we can create from scratch. All right, so there's a few ways to do this. You can start wherever you wanna start, but for me, I wanna start with a checkpoint. So again, I'm going to double click anywhere on the canvas. I'll just click right here. And then it allows me to search. So I'm looking for a checkpoint. So I want a load checkpoint basically. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in load here and this is gonna allow me to, to create checkpoint loader simple. That's what I want, let's start with that. Presto, it just adds it right away. I'm gonna go ahead and increase its size a little bit and bang, there we go. If we wanna make some changes to it, you can see here, you can click in here and you know change the name or 
things like that and add in different stuff. But this was the first step and it's literally double click, select and go. All right, and just a few more examples here. If you're following along here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on checkpoint name and watch this. When I click on that, I get all of these different options. So if there's something I have in mind in terms of a model, for example, Extra Realistic XL is doing very, very well. You can see by the 3 million runs on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and watch this. You'll see now that it has been added into the checkpoint. It's literally double click, click. It's that simple to start creating with TensorArt. All right, so if you're following along with me, let's show you how easy this is. So let's keep going here. I'm gonna double click up here. And again, I'm gonna bring up the search options for me. I'm gonna go ahead and select a LoRa. So I'm just gonna type in L-O-R-A, and then I want LoRa Loader. That sounds like a girl I went to school with. <laughs> I'm gonna click on that, and presto, LoRa Loader, or Load LoRa, I guess is the right way to put it, is now added. And I can go ahead and click on that, and I can make changes to it. So if I wanna select my own LoRa, look at all these different options. I mean, this isn't like you get one option here on TensorArt. You get a lot of choices. I'm gonna go with, you know what? This one here, Isao Andrew. He's a great artist, really, really cool stuff he creates. Let's go with Isao Andrew. So there we go, we've gone ahead and done that. Now watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that if I just click here on the clip, I'm gonna go ahead and connect these two. So see how I did that? I just clicked and then I just basically drawing a spaghetti arm to each other and bang, we've gone ahead and connected this. So this is how you create your own unique workflows inside TensorArt. It's absolutely crazy. It's infinitely uh, adjustable. You can make all sorts of changes, permutations. It's wild. There's pre-built stuff. There's your own stuff you can build. You definitely gotta check it out.